All right, guys, we're here at the 2023 Mid-America Trucking Show. We are in the Renegade booth. My lovely wife, Amber, <laughs> is up here. She flew up. We are kidless for the next three and a half days. So we're gonna be having a lot of fun. We're gonna be going out and doing stuff after the show, during the show, so we're gonna drag you guys along with us for the whole thing. We have lots of vendors to meet up with and uh, lots of new people to talk to about stuff we need this year for the YouTube and trucking projects we've got going on. So let's get this thing started. All right, we've made our first stop here today. We are at the Dynaflex products booth. You guys remember about seven or eight months ago, we uh, flew out to California and toured the Renegade booth. I'm sorry, we toured the Renegade factory and we toured the Dynaflex factory. I'll link those videos here somewhere in the bottom too. It was really cool. And these are some trucks. You guys are probably know this truck. This is Bill Rethwich truck with Rethwich Transportation. And they got all kinds of cool stuff here. So let's go see some of the products they got on Bill's truck. So Dynaflex builds, stacks, all kinds of underhood piping, lots of really cool stuff. We've got Dynaflex stacks on the Trader Taxi, and we're going to have some on the new truck coming too. So they uh, do stuff like the intercooler pipes here, radiator pipes, and that nice chrome air intake on there. So check them out, Dynaflex. They're always in the description below. And the big strappers, all kinds of t-shirt apparel and all that good stuff. They sent us a lot of stuff. Ryan has the shirt on right now. Are you big strapping? Oh yeah. Strapped on. Oh, here, you, this is a good time to get a picture of us. Here, scoot over some. <laughs> so is this your first time? Yeah. Are you nervous to be here? <laughs> at the Mid-America Trucking Show on this black couch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's Tommy, we weren't expecting another man. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> we just, uh, you know, how are, uh, how's, how's it going, Bruce? If you knew what we were just doing, you probably wouldn't be here right now. Oh, really? That sounds fun. <laughs> I, I don't at all. Jess is oblivious. <laughs> all right, guys, our next stop here is Industrial Injection. We did a lot of work with these guys a few years ago with the original flat, nasty mud truck. They do some stuff in the heavy-duty world. Obviously, they got some turbos for your Cummins engines and stuff like that, your ISX and X15s and some kind of an injector cup tool here or something here. They must have issues with injector cups and stuff, so. It's like a tool kit they make from industrial, so they make all kinds of cool parts. You should check them out. Look at this thing. This is a rig from like the welder up, so. Look at the uh, torch on that boy hanging right there. I wonder if you can light it. That'd be sick, wouldn't it? Look at the engine. Looks like a Cummins 600 signature series. Yep, that's what it is. Pretty cool. Oh. Get your hands out of there. You pull all the wires out? It's like playing an operation. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, they're a little noisy, but 
Oh my god. We hear talking to these guys over there. Why are we getting a humming noise out of the front end of this thing? It's like there's tires that are on it. I know. They're like, you're running what? <laughs> on the front? They look slick. It's not horrible. Like it's it has a little bit of that's slick. They are definitely uh, drawing a crowd for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so our next stop is here at Trucks Accessories. These guys, as you know, just loaded us up with an insane amount of dual revolution lights, which are what are on this truck right here. So they go from amber and red to blue, purple, pink, almost and green, like any other color you can imagine. Trucks offers those, and that's what we've got on our Poland truck. Good amber. She's just so pretty. All kinds of cool stuff. You find something you like? Yeah, the, I like this, this one. Look at that. Oh, shoot. Amber. Nice to meet you, Paul Chase. Yes, sir. <laughs> See your videos. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, sir. Next stop, we are here at Green APU booth here at the Mid America Truck and Show, of course. These guys, if you remember, about a year ago, we put a APU unit, which is an auxiliary power unit on the frame of our 389 Peterbilt. And it was a brand new truck back then. I think we got like right around 300 hours on it. Um, we're about to do the oil change and full service on it. We're gonna be doing that maybe in this video or tomorrow's video with these guys. Uh, but we're gonna go through every little detail and changing the air filter on it, the oil filter and fuel filter and making it think fresh and ready for another few thousand hours of service for another oil change. Um, really awesome unit. We love it when we're staying in the truck because you don't have to run the big engine. Let's go to four right, states next. For a bit, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're back in full swing. What's your new thing now? What you got going on? You're doing pull trucks and stuff. Sled right? pulling, tractor pulling, whatever I get my hands into, awesome, yeah. Man. So I'm from Delaware, the state. Okay. And I didn't even think I'd see you here. I've been to yeah. Florida a few times for the Daytona meets and all that. Oh, yeah. I don't think I got to meet you there. but Yeah, yeah. I went to Daytona a couple times and stuff, yeah. so. So now yeah. it's all sled pulling stuff now? Well, I'll just truck in, whatever I get my hands yeah, the, into. The Vegas plane a couple weeks ago, didn't you? Yeah, we hauled that, or we didn't haul it, but we unloaded it and moved it around for them. Just equipment. That the other day. It's like so, 20 minutes from my house, yeah. too. It was crazy. That's awesome. It's weird. I was watching the whole interview on the whole plane. Yeah, and yeah. You come and you're hauling. I'm like, what? Yeah. That's crazy. But man, it's awesome. <laughs> yep, it was nice meeting you. Yep, day. have a good trip, bro. State Trucks <laughs> booth right here next. And these guys offer parts for every make, model, year of heavy duty semi trucks. They got a heck of a nice 389 show truck right there too. So bumpers, seats, they've sent us a lot of stuff in our videos for like the pulling truck, the 389, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I see some cups I think we need to go steal one. Let's see if I can get it. Excuse me. They're like the distributor for like trucks, like basically every manufacturer there is, they're the distributor for them. And they are here at the show selling products too. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, we're right here at the ARI sleeper booth. Don't get much better. You probably, they probably put a bed right over the top of it if I had to guess. Or do you work here? Or no, you just here looking? I'm just gulking at it too. Hey Jeremy, are these are these your front fenders from Talladega Fiberglass? Yeah, I think these are our custom cuts. I really like them. They're nice fenders. Thank you. Did you know that they're free shipping? Like, yeah, I'm not stupid. I don't know. Oh. Find him a spider. Yeah. No, no, no. You gonna find a spider, right? No, no. No, 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 no. Do not. I don't want to admit that. I'll be going down to Florida if that happens. Y'all got the big ones down here. always screwing everything up, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. got it. That's what he says. We've got, we've got, uh, Daddy Long Legs. I got them. We got those things all over in our shop. I make him clean the spider web. God, I hate it. We got a big old pole brush on it and, like, go clean the spider web. 
when you start seeing one with the multiple colors on it, that's when you win. That's when your others are I don't even bad. care. It's no, the way see, they move. I don't like it. Ain't no problem. They when won't you see, bother you. When you see the black ones with all the little different dots on the back, that's when you step yeah. way back. <laughs> Those are the scary ones. Them the scary ones. <laughs> yes, sir. It was nice meeting you guys. So, you guys know that we bought the pulling truck. We got some injectors from a guy named Ryan in Wisconsin we never met. So, here's Ryan's pulling truck at Kenworth. I know it's a Kenworth, but it does have a cat in it. Look at that, common rail. Y'all, do y'all guys? Wow, that's insane. Let's see, I was talking to someone that does the common rail stuff. Uh, SNS Diesel. Yep, Andrew. Yep, Andrew. And he commented, he's like, call me. And I was like, well, I do Andrew from like this. Uh, five, nine, coming, six, seven, coming. That's what they're really good at. Let's tell you, so Caterpillars are usually unit injectors. They usually convert these to common rail, which means this big injection up here builds a lot of rail pressure. Pumps it in there, and the injectors are just really cool. Wow, this thing's serious. I wonder how big the turbo is on this side. Wow. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> we thought ours was big, eh? So it's unlimited, right? Whatever turbo you want to run. 6.2. 6.2 is a classic. A dry sump, right? So, what is it? Is this water injection? Nope, those are all oil pumps three for the engine and one for the to loop the pumps. So, if the cat oil pumps out of it, okay. you ain't gonna spin the oil pump at you know for yeah, up and higher so RPMs like that. Bring it down some. So, then it won't keep the pressure. So, that guy will keep the pressure, oil pressure on it, solid, consistent. So what's like the RPM this thing's running at when the engine's at four? Don't you know, even know. There's a ratio on lower. it. When you, yeah, when you get the pump, they want they only want it to turn so fast. So then you gotta. There's a whole ratio thing to do on them. Wow, this thing is nuts. Profab transmission. Yeah. There's a guy that pulls down near us and runs a Profab. Yeah, a lot there of them is. usually if you're running the Mac transmission, it's a Profab. This is awesome. So like this is like top tier, top of the line stuff. We're, I just want to be able to like sled pull it and then go drag race it and do stuff like this because it's just a dedicated puller. Yeah, yeah, that's all this is, yes. Wow. That turbo is serious, ain't it? Big, big boy. So we're looking at this truck more and it's crazy like the amount of systems that are on board to make this thing happen. Cat from the factory has what's called unit injectors where a cam hits the top of the injector in a magnet on top makes a pulse and they completely did away with that system because it limits the rpms big time they went to literal locomotive injectors so right there is the top of the injector and it goes all the way down to here these injectors are like a foot and a half long out of a locomotive diesel engines out of a train engine and that turbo may as well be <laughs> look at that boy be off of it so it's got a water to air intercooler water injection on it obviously <laughs> all kinds of oil tanks and stuff yeah it's got a steep so ski manifold which is look at that stack that's like seven inch six inch pipe there big boy crazy dude just absolutely insane he's running airliner rear suspension which we've been talking about. he's running airliner rear suspension which we've been talking about like going a new way or something like that and they said just rock the peat suspension and go to just heavier axles and we haven't broken any axles yet since the last time but you know i definitely want to put a box like this like what do you think about like we put a box like that and put like stickers on it instead of a cab i like that yeah and they got this big structure here for like, their sled pulling inside um to put the chrome stack up over the top of it so that the smoke isn't going inside and blowing it outside but this is Ryan's truck. Thank you, Ryan. I know he's going to watch this video for all the insight he's given us and all the advice to help us get us where we are. And uh, hopefully we can put even more bad arse engine in the truck. Because this thing is just... A unit. Looks like that of a spaceship, cut. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's go see what other cool pulling vehicles are here. Look at those stacks. Seven inch, eight inch. Good dry shafts. Yeah, this stuff's no joke. Oh. 
crazy. I, here I am thinking that we need to go to New Way Suspension. And these guys are running like factory Peterbilt suspension on a lot of these, so maybe we don't need to. This truck life's been sled pulling for a while. Look at some big old thick retreads. It's like three inches. What do you think about this, babe? What do you think about this? I'm cold. Huh? Speak up. I'm not. You're not? It's like kind of I got frostbite. Well, guys, we're winding down this video after being all over the place. It's kind of short and sweet, but to the point. I wanted to show you guys the Trader Taxi. The sun's going down. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow on Friday. This thing turned out sweet, I think, for our first show. So, take a gander. Figgity, figgity. Fudged up. Fudged. Like chocolate. Fudged up. <laughs> Let me just say, like, um, I'm fudged up. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I should go to bed, but I got donor, donut. <laughs> Donut operator on TV right now. This man is legit. Hey, I, I should go to sleep, but I got. He's talking to his wife. I got, I got donut operator on TV, and he's talking to me, and it's a whole new level. He's talking about. Shit, I don't even know. How often will he go to? The donut operator is legit. Okay. Okay. We better have a kid, son. Shit, I don't, even, I don't even know. I'm like fudge, like chocolate. We're all wrecked. We went to the club and we had a good time. We went to the club and we had a good old time. Okay, I ain't... <laughs> Shit. I'm, I'm, Ryan's I'm, about to get himself in trouble. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, Courtney, but man, I'm... I'm figgity, figgity, figgity fudge. Fudge up. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Tell her you love her. I and your your vape died, and you're not charging it up no more. I love.